Hey there, this is the newsletter summary for the uh, newsletter for February 23rd, 2023. I was just about to send out this newsletter when I realized I hadn't recorded a video. This week's episode it has a content warning. Uh, it is about intimate partner violence, although there aren't uh, many details uh, that, that might trigger folks. Still a content warning just in case. Uh, in 2015, uh, three women were murdered in a rural Eastern Ontario community by the same man. A coroner's inquest was called and because of COVID, uh, it was delayed because it was important that this inquest was done in person. I speak to a feminist lawyer, Pamela Cross, who attended uh, the inquest, uh, testified as an expert witness, as uh, someone with decades of experience representing victims of intimate partner violence. And she also created a toolkit. We talk about the difference between rural and urban when it comes to intimate partner violence. Um, and she's encouraging all rural Canadian communities uh, to put, put some of those recommendations into action now. And she makes suggestions of really simple things that you can do, uh, as well as some that are more involved and, and ways that you can do that. Also included in the newsletter is the note from a listener, uh, newsletter subscriber, uh, who talked about her own experience as a farm wife. Um, it is moving, again, uh, a bit of a content warning. Uh, and I withheld her name for her own protection uh, because of her own rural community and, and not knowing uh, her level of safety. I do include some statistics uh, in the newsletter too about, here's a couple of them. Indigenous women are 12 times more likely to be murdered or go missing than other women. Police reported intimate partner violence is 75% higher in rural communities than in urban centers. And a woman is killed approximately every six days by a partner or farmer partner. Those are just a few of them. I also include some more resources uh, that Pamela uh, provided uh, that you can share with your uh, rural municipalities, committees, or organizations. Uh, this is the last week of Black History Month and I'm amplifying Black and rural entrepreneurs. Stella Sane, uh, my good friend from Sweet Pure Honey, Honey rather, uh, is a former guest and she, uh, uh, I have a link to her podcast, that podcast episode. She is a really passionate, moving, brave person that I admire tremendously. And I think you'll really enjoy that episode. Some of the future topics coming up. Um, when Pamela talked about uh, in Ontario, municipalities create what's called a community safety plan. Not every province or territory uh, requires this. And we talk about that with Jean Boda, who works with the Alberta Community Crime Prevention Association. She was part of a project called Building Capacity in Rural Crime Prevention. Uh, again, this is a Canada-wide uh, project, and you'll be interested in some of the findings from that project and, and what we talk about. That's coming up next week. Also coming up on uh, Family Day, also known as Islander Day, Louis Real Day, and Nova Scotia Heritage Day. I had an amazing conversation with four counselors, uh, four first time female counselors in Ontario. Uh, they talk about their first 100 days, the barriers they faced, even getting to office, but also the privilege they recognize that it takes to even be able to run. Uh, an update on the Chamber report card that we did um, back in the fall. Uh, how inclusive are Canada's Chambers of Commerce, a report card. The second part of that, uh, another student group I've been working with. It's our last week next week on the project. They are developing a toolkit for organizations to be able to 
change or convert those recommendations from the original student group into some action. So that will be coming soon. I wanted to let you know about that. Until next week, um, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.